welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best performances on The Masked Singer. If you believe in things you don't understand, then you start a superstition ain't the way. For this list, we're looking at the greatest vocals ever heard on The Masked Singer. Be warned, these are huge spoilers. Did any of these celebrities surprise you? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. My Heart Will Go On Seahorse, Tori Kelly Most of us would probably prefer to sing a Celine Dion song with a mask on. Because if you flop on a Celine song, you flop hard. Let's face it, it takes a lot to nail those powerful notes. This season 4 contestant blew the judges away with her take on My Heart Will Go On. Later revealed to be gospel singer Tori Kelly, the seahorse gives an arresting performance of the love theme from Titanic that tugs at the heartstrings. That's no small feat when you have sharks and octopi doing an interpretive dance on the stage behind you. Number 9. Fix You – Turtle, Jesse McCartney Any child of the 90s probably recognized this voice right away. Lights will guide you home and ignite your home. Formerly of the boy band Dream Street, singer, songwriter, and actor Jesse McCartney's run on season 3 was impressive. As the punk rock turtle, McCartney took a swing at this Coldplay classic and knocked it out of the studio. The song is slow, steady, and requires a delicate touch. Luckily, being a turtle, slow and steady is his specialty. He may have come in second place when the season ended, but this moment proves he is one of the best to ever grace the Masked Singer stage. And I will try to fix you. Number 8. Jealous – Pepper, Natasha Bedingfield When unwritten singer Natasha Bedingfield was revealed to be season 6's Pepper, many fans were not surprised. The singer, who's also known for Pocket Full of Sunshine, just had too distinctive a voice to hide for long. It's closer than my hands have been. Oh, I'm jealous of the rain. Her cover of British artist Labyrinth's song Jealous was a hit. It was a perfect choice to show off her smooth vocals. All the songs on the show are shortened for time, but this one was over way too soon. But I always thought you'd come back to me. Sure, that incredibly wide smile on Pepper's face was immediately off-putting, but as soon as she started singing, everyone forgot the face and fell in love with the talent. It's hard for me to say, I'm jealous of the way you're happy without me. Number 7. I Will Always Love You Ringmaster Haley Orantia whether you're taking on the Whitney version or the original Dolly, this ballad is a daunting task for anyone. And I will always love you. How many of us have sat through a misbegotten karaoke performance of this very song? Within the first few notes, though, the judges were on board. And I wish you joy. Happy Ringmaster immediately cleared the set of vocal runs that opens the song and unleashed some serious lung power on that stage. The crowd was on their feet when she hit that last chorus. And I will always love you. Later revealed to be professional singer and the Goldbergs actor Haley Orantia. Ringmaster would make it all the way to the finale off the back of this amazing performance. You. Number 6. 
Number 6. Lonely – Yeti – Omarion The Yeti began his cover of this surprisingly depressing Justin Bieber and Benny Blanco song against a projection of ice and snow. Everybody knows my name now, but something about it still feels strange. Like looking in the mirror trying to steady yourself, seeing somebody else. This season 5 performance is one of the show's most visually stunning stagings. With a voice as graceful and smooth as his roller skating moves, R&B singer Omarion, in character as the Yeti, had the audience in the palm of his hand. But if you had it all, with nobody to call, maybe then you know me. Even with the ornate costume, it was almost easy to forget it was the masked singer and not a Yeti concert. The solemn, truly beautiful presentation left the judges shocked and heartbroken. So lonely, lonely. <sighs> Number 5. I Have Nothing Harp Amber Riley. The harp chose the right instrument. Her voice is as close to heaven as you can get. Every time she stepped onto the stage, the harp demonstrated her range, power, and energy. I won't hold it back again, this passion inside, can't run from myself, there's no way to hide. Yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah. But this classic belt fest from the Bodyguard soundtrack was her greatest achievement on the show. She absolutely nailed this signature Whitney Houston track. It cemented her place in the competition and also made it pretty obvious to any Glee fan exactly who was behind the mask. To the shock of no one, it was actor and powerhouse vocalist Amber Riley who was revealed as the voice behind the harp. She emerged the season 8 champion. I have nothing, nothing, nothing if I don't have you. Number 4. La Vie en Rose, Queen of Hearts, Jewel. Apparently, the Queen of Hearts, aka Jewel, did not speak French when she took on this essential Edith Piaf hit. The singer later revealed she only had a track of the spoken French lyrics in her earpiece and her own musical instincts to guide her. We'll leave it to the native speakers to critique her pronunciation. As far as outstanding vocals go, we're willing to say she absolutely killed it. The song perfectly fits her versatile instrument, letting her soar on the high notes and then dip into that sugary sweet breathy part of her range. Some singers take us to church. Jewel took us to a smoky 1950s Parisian cafe. Number 3. Stay With Me – Monster, T-Pain In its first season, the American version of the franchise was still finding the balance between the gimmicks and the talent. These nights never seem to go to plan. I don't want you to leave, can you hold my hand? The monster's moving interpretation of Sam Smith's Stay With Me gave us all a peek at what the show could be. What's great about this one is that the man behind the monster, rapper and singer T-Pain, is actually known for popularizing the auto-tune effect. But there's no need for auto-tune here. Oh, won't you stay with me? The show's very first winner had a voice rich with rasp, full of intense feeling and emotional heft. Number 2. Rainbow 
thingamajig, Victor Oladipo. Judge Nicole Scherzinger almost burst into tears halfway through the thingamajig's rendition of the Casey Musgraves anthem Rainbow. It's hard to breathe when all you know is The struggle of staying above the rising water line What? Who wouldn't? The song is so sweet, but his deep and smooth vocals hit the ear like butter. Eventually unmasked as Victor Oladipo, an NBA player with a side hustle as a singer, the thingamajig brought the crowd to its feet with his pure tone and heartfelt vocals. Hey, let go of your umbrella, cause darling I'm just trying to tell you that there's always been a rainbow. If singing is his side gig, he must be really good at basketball. A minute and a half just isn't enough. It's been a few years, but we're still waiting on a full version, Victor. That there's always been a rainbow hanging over your head. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Wrecking Ball B. Gladys Knight Where else would you hear the Empress of Soul do a Miley cover? The Greatest Show Peacock, Donny Osmond The show's first ever contestant started things off on the right note. We light it up, we won't come down. Watching it come true is taking over you. Oh, this is the greatest show. Yeah. Someone You Loved Rottweiler, Chris Daughtry The rocker shocked with this Louis Capaldi cover. I let my guard down and then you pull the rug. Try a little tenderness. Fox, Wayne Brady. The song and dance man was always a crowd pleaser. Million Reasons. Night Angel, Candy Burris. The musician and real housewife gave the audience a million reasons to vote for her. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. When the Party's Over Son, Leanne Rhymes. The show's entire concept, dressing celebrities in silly and ornate costumes while they sing other people's songs, doesn't seem to suggest it could make you cry. Season 4 winner Leanne Rhymes did just that when she delivered a truly heart-stopping version of Billie Eilish's When the Party's Over. In costume as the sun, Rhymes's cover is haunting, elegant, and absolutely breathtaking. And I'll call you when the party's over. Even behind the mask, she manages to convey the song's deeply personal narrative without ever dipping a toe into camp territory. It doesn't seem like it should be as beautiful as it is. That's what makes it even more powerful. It's completely unexpected. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.